Hey everyone, this is Frank from Apple One to One. Today we're doing our follow-up training on formatting the cells in Apple Numbers. This is a continuation of our previous video discussing data formats. We'll have a link in the description to access the previous video. This training talks about cells and borders. Don't forget, if you enjoy the video, hit the likes and any questions or comments, add them. We'll be happy to answer them. Now let's talk about fill. So you can highlight an area, click on fill. On the fill, it says no fill right now. Click on it. You could have a color fill and it's going to show you a fill color here, which you can click on and select a particular color. You can click on the color wheel and the color wheel will pop up and you can slide it anywhere you like and choose a particular color and shade that you want. Just like that. And you could do that for one cell. You can do it for multiple cells. Okay. See, so once you select it and it'll, it drops down here to the eyedropper. Now, if you wanted to make it a um, gradient, slide this little over here. It's showing you darker and darker, right? Then here's your opacity. So you see, you can play with all of that any way that you'd like. If you don't like the color wheel, you can use a grayscale slider. You can use drop-down checkboxes. You can use this type of spectrum item. And you can use the pencils to select the color. It's thousand and one different things that you can do that way. If you notice in column B, I have that outlined. Now, that's where we're going to go with border and border style. So, if you click on there, you can select any one of these. This is left, this is up, in the middle, bottom, right, and all. Select the border style. And you see, now you have the point size. You also have your color. So if that point size, say, oh, that's, that's too thick, you can drop it down. Okay? And maybe you don't want black. All right? So if you click on the color, you say, well, I want, I want this, something subtle. You can do custom highlighting. You can add a rule. All right, so you can say, if a number in this cell is equal to something, give it a, a condition. So for example, let's go here, right? Add a rule. If the number is less than 25, okay? So our rule here show highlighting rules, say one rule. If the rule it if it's less than twenty five thousand, red fill. And you can change this to be any color fill you'd like. Or you could do green text. All right. So you have multiple conditions here orange fill, whatever you'd like. So your, if you, even if you come in here and you say, all right, I want this outlined and I want it outlined in red. Okay. And maybe that's too thick, right? So you come in, let's say we want it like that. So that if you have a spreadsheet and you want something to stand out, you can have it 
separated or some people use this kind of border for a coupon cutout. You can do that. If you have any questions, please let us know. We look forward to seeing you next time. I would like to take this opportunity to thank you for viewing our content. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe so you can see all our training videos as well as links to download our podcast.